Hi, welcome to the Science Museum. My name's Sam, and today we're going to be looking at how sound travels. If Alexandra knocks on a wall or a table, you'll better hear the sound. But then if we do it again with her ear pressed to the surface, did it sound any different? Did it sound louder? So sound travels through vibrations. And when you have your ear pressed to the surface, the sound can go straight through that solid surface into your ear. So if sound travels by vibrations and it travels better through solids than it does liquids or gases, Let's have a look at what it does to this really cool mixture we have here. So this is just corn flour and water mixed to make a slime that is also known as oobleck. Alexandra is putting force on the oobleck and it's acting like a solid. But when she leaves it alone, it acts like a liquid and flows. So we're going to pass vibrations of sound through it and see how it acts like a solid. And when there's no sound going through it, it should act like a liquid and we're gonna use a speaker to do that. So the movement of the speaker is going to do some fun stuff to our cornflower slime. So what you've seen is the power of sound and how it makes our cornflower dance. 